Ebony, Spotlight is what you need if you do want to get an agent, because an agent won't represent you without being a Spotlight member. Um, it's, it's a tricky one, because with Carson Call Pro, you can apply for your own work. Um, which I sometimes do, but I don't I don't do like the year long membership. I'll dip in and out of a month if I feel like I need to quickly get some kind of um, uh, paid work to kind of keep the money coming in. Um, but with uh, with regards to Spotlight, it is a lot of money. But don't think of it like a website where you really can apply for much work, because although there is a, um, a jobs board on there, in all honesty, I've been a member of Spotlight since 2004 and I've never got anything from it in terms of work that I've put myself in for. But what it does is it puts you on a database and um, once you're on that database, when you are represented by an agent, um, that's how they submit you for work. They basically won't take you on without because without that, they can't actually put you forward. Um, from what I know, when a casting director puts a casting out, so let's say uh, Nina Gold um, puts a casting out for Game of Thrones, she'll say what she wants for the show. Um, that will then go on the spotlight page that agents receive. Okay, the normal... Uh, members of the public, actors, we won't even see those big castings, okay? They go straight out to a board that only agents can see and your agent will literally click to apply and then they'll click through all their clients. It's all literally point, click, point, click and they can't do that without Spotlight. So hopefully that will help you a bit. Um, if you are making a push for an agent anytime soon, let me know and I'll try and offer you some advice on the best um, way to do things. I've literally just signed a new agent um, uh, on Friday. Uh, it's, um, it's a minefield. I've been through many many agents I think I'm on my ninth or tenth agent and half the time even though they're really good people they work really really hard you've got to find that relationship with an agent you need someone who work, is going to work well with you whatever it is you want as your main goals for your career um, for example now I don't really want to be put forward for commercials or theatre or corporate or anything like that um, I need an agent just for film and television because everything else I find myself so independent film I find through um, uh, stuff like Twitter and Facebook and all kinds of networking sites but when it comes to film and tv um as i say you don't get those you don't get to see those castings only an agent can put you in for them so really i needed to find an agent that's like yeah i'm not going to put you in for stuff you don't want i'm literally going to put you forward for the jobs that you do so i might only get a couple of big auditions a year um but i know that when i do get them it'll be for shows that i really want to be part of um, so hopefully that will shed some light. But if you do, you know, if that's something that you want, um, you probably know a lot of this anyway, but I'll just tell you the, the, the fundamental things that you'll need to have. Um, good headshots, okay, professional headshots. Um, I spent years getting mates to do them for me and family family members and stuff. But to be honest, um, nothing's really as good as getting a professional photographer who shoots actors' headshots, not just photos, because they know how to make your one photo, which is pretty much all the casting director's going to see, um, stand out and, and they'll they'll make a way to find you, you look uh, appealing and engaging or tick whatever casting box they're after. So get yourself, you only need one or two maximum maybe four decent headshots um so get those yours are really good actually i remember yeah your your your, your pictures are good so anyway sorry if i'm reiterating stuff you already know um the second one is your show reel um so if you haven't got a show reel um i sorry i haven't i haven't checked but if you haven't your best way rather than paying someone to do a show reel um like there's some people, some show role companies where you can pay them and they'll set up scenes. Personally, I think your best bet in order to actually show different character development is to um, just get invo involved in loads of uh, short films. Go on Casting Call Pro, go to the opportunity section. You don't get paid, but your payment is show role material. So I'm not saying do that long term, but do it if you're going for an agent, like get... Uh, maybe sort of four different films or something where you're playing different types of characters, then take like 15, 20 seconds of your best scenes from those films and then whack them together. If you do do that, I'll help you. If you've already done it, I apologise. I'm just thinking of everything that you need. So headshots and showreel. Once you've got that, start writing off to agents. I've got a list of all the best agents to write to um, and the ones that are probably best to start with because you can go for one agent and then kind of work your way up the scale once um, that agent's kind of got you places. Um, and yeah, and Spotlight. Uh, you don't need a ton of credits on there. You just need enough to show that you've worked professionally. So that can be done through um, working on a couple of these short films that I mentioned on Cast and Call Pro. Um, I hope you found this helpful. I'm always hope you need uh, a hand with anything. I'm um, sorry for wittering on. I tend to do that. And sorry for not typing. But I just much prefer to kind of almost feel like I'm engaging kind of face to face. Um, anyway, yeah, it's really nice to kind of stay in touch. Um, can't wait to work with you again, either in the film that we're doing or hopefully if we both do Fear at Avon Valley again this year because I had a blast last time. Um, and yeah, keep up the keep 
up the good work. You're doing a really good job. Um, and stay in touch via social media and any questions you've got, just send them my way and I'll always try and get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Okay, enjoy the sunshine and I shall catch up with you very soon. All the best.